My full name is Leslie Edwards, and I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, August the 9th, 1924. Oh, my childhood memories was I in the worst depression and in the United States and in Cincinnati. That was mean for everybody. The winters were hard and the food was scarce and the uh, housing was bad and it was just a mean time for living and I couldn't make it to the 10th grade. Well, in Cincinnati, the segregation was uh, hard because the lack of opportunities and discouragement for even to try because of the depression. And when I went down south to visit my people down south, they made it known there were certain places you couldn't go and in certain places that you'd have trouble if you tried to go. So in the south, there was lynching going on and in the north, people were being put in jail and it was brutalization by the police department in Cincinnati that I witnessed. I was drafted and the army decided that uh, they was gonna have to find me a place to fit in. And even though I had failed in school, the series of tests that they gave, I wind up with the Tuskegee Airmen. There was no such thing as the Air Force at that time. It was the Army Air Corps. And there was segregation. And in, in the communities they lived in, the, uh, the Army camps were segregated. There was only part of the camp that you expected to go in. There was segregation on the buses where you're supposed to sit on the back of the buses. And the, uh, the, the whole discrimination was made you to know that uh, you was an inferior, even though you was a soldier. You you were still an inferior person when it comes to being part of the United States. My favorite military aircraft uh, is the B-25 because the Tusky Airmen had proven what they could do with the fighter plane. But then they was trying to see, see what they could do with the bombers, and that's the one we got our reputation shown. We could do it with the bombers and the fighters. Most people don't realize. Back during that time, uh, the Africans was having problems with the fascists in Europe. And the uh, Italians were bombing the Italians. And there was problems with the, uh, with the Germans helping out uh, suppress Spanish people. And the African-Americans who was intelligent, they knew that the fascists, uh, Mussolini and Adolf Hitler, uh, was going to be mean to everybody. And so they was willing to join the forces that was gonna stop the brutality of the fascists because it was a good fight that America was getting into. And the African Americans, they knew they had skills and they wanted to show they had skills that would participate in stopping the evil over there. And hoping in stopping the evil over there, they would stop some of the evil here. The Red Tail movie was produced by George Lucas and he was trying to show what was missed when they did the first Tuskegee Airmen movie. But George Lucas found himself uh, being denied the opportunity to really show everything. So when he reduced the movie down, he had to cut out about Tuskegee Airmen receiving the gold medal. He had to cut out about uh, the uh, Bill Davis being the commander of the Tuskegee Airmen. He had to cut out about the Tuskegee Airmen being arrested. 160 Tuskegee Airmen was arrested. He had to cut everything out, and then he had to tell a lie about a Tuskegee Airmen being uh, escaping from a German prison camp. So uh, George Lucas found out in order for him to uh, make a movie about the Tuskegee Airmen, there's certain things that he couldn't think. Young men of color have to understand that they have given an opportunity to live as a man. And as a man, the first thing you want to do is avoid the justice system, judge corruption, and doing anything but cause your mother to be ashamed, and to move yourself to be a great partner for somebody. And you can do it in America. There's opportunities in America for everybody to upgrade themselves. And you have an obligation to yourself to move yourself to be the best partner you can be.